Hi! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa and for today we are going to be using some of the supplies that we received in our Arteza um, Holiday Advent Calendar box and we are going to be making some beautiful wood slice ornaments. So for those of you who have not seen our unboxing for the Arteza Advent Calendar, I will put it up in the, uh, the little box up here somewhere <laughs> so that you can take a look at that video if you're interested in it. Also, if you are interested in purchasing a box of your own, you can use code VANESSA10 for 10% off of your advent calendar or any art supplies on the Arteza website. You all know how much I love them. I'm not going to keep going on and on about them, but I'm super excited to have received that box. And today we're going to be painting using the supplies that we received in the advent calendar. Now, I've made a couple of videos in past holiday seasons using these wood slices. I've used watercolor. I've used acrylic. These are just some of the ones that I've made. Um, here's a little Jack Skellington that I made. Um, we did a whole Nightmare Before Christmas series. I'll put them up here if you wanted to catch those videos as well. But today we're going to strictly use the content of the advent calendar. So let's begin. So today we are going to be using the wood slices that we received from Arteza. And the first thing that we're going to do is put a base coat of snowman white. Now if you do not have this box or if you um, have uh, your own acrylic paints, you know, obviously feel free to use what you have. I'm going to put a little dab of that paint. I'm going to be using the flat brush from Arteza and I am going to spread this out. I didn't do any prepping on this on the wood slice because um, these wood slices come pre-sanded and you really don't need to do any prep on them whatsoever. So I'm going to try not to go to the edge, although sometimes I mess up and then I do end up going to the edge. And then after you have put your initial coat down, all you have to do is just kind of smooth it out to get rid of any um, brush strokes. And you have your first one there. And I'm going to do it on both. I'm going to make matching designs, but um, they're going to be a little different. So I'm going to use both wood slices to, uh, to achieve my goal here today. And there we have the base painted on our two wood slices. So before this completely dries, I am going to take some of the glitter that we received in the box. And uh, let's see, I'm going to attempt to put some on there and I wanna do it before it dries. And I'm going to grab my round brush. I'm going to dip it in some water to loosen, loosen that glue up. And let's see if I can pick some up. I'm going to pick up a little star, yes, perfect. So I picked up a star and the edge of my brush is still a little wet. So I'm going to pick up a star and I am going to lay that onto the wet paint. That way we don't have to use any glue, we don't have to use, uh, you know, we don't have to use anything else. If your brush dries off, Add a little bit more water. So this it, these this is the glitter that came in um, in the advent calendar. It's so pretty. Here we have 
our white paint with the stars. So before you move on to the next step, make sure that this is completely dry because we're going to be sketching on top of it. All right, I'm going to put one aside and we are going to work on this one. And make sure that you have a nice fine point when you are ready to start drawing or start sketching. We're gonna draw a cute little baby reindeer and one of the easiest ways to draw is to break everything down into shapes. We're going to start with the head, which is going to be an oval. So lightly sketch out an oval. For the body, it's going to be a longer oval. And then for the legs, they're going to be little rectangles. So we're going to have our little rectangle round them out at the bottom. Another little rectangle here. Remember to round them out. We're going to have another rectangle just coming off the front here. And then another one right in the back just coming up here. All right, for our uh, tail here, it's another little oval. And then we will define them just a little bit more. So that's what we're going to do right now. So for the head's oval, we are going to sharpen it up a bit. So make it come to a little bit of a point in the front here. And we are going to also make a little oval for the ear, the cute little ear. And we are going to cut that oval in half, well, not in half, in like thirds. So that we could have the top of the cute little face. We are going to have a little eyeball, so cute. We are going to have the little reindeer's nose, which is just a little circle. And we're gonna have a cute little mouth, just smiling away right here. Okay, so now for the ears, we're going to define this a little more by sharpening the edge, make it come to a point. And then we're going to define it by adding that same pattern in the middle. And let's give it some antlers. So for the antlers, we're just going to be drawing sticks and then we'll round those out. So we're starting with one and we have a little antler, a little ridge coming off on this side and a little ridge coming up on this side. And then on the other side, we are going to have one stick with a little ridge on this side and a little ridge on this side. And don't forget to add the other ear. We'll have that other ear coming out of the antler. And this is going to be the back side, so we won't be able to see this cute little fuzzy part of that ear, okay? If you wanted to round out the head a little more, you can. And now for the antlers, we're just going to round out those antlers, so. We're just going to make them a little bit bubbly because it's a cute little, our cute little reindeer baby. And we're just rounding them out. Use the lines as your guide and round that out. And that's perfect. And now let's work on the tail. So we are just going to make it like a little, a little teardrop shape on his little tushy. We're gonna cut that oval. Okay, and I think I wanna round this baby's this little baby's head off here. It feels a little too oblong. I have my eraser in case I make any mistakes and I'm going to erase this part here. So now we are going to round it out just a little bit more. I'm going to connect the little rump to the front leg, the back leg here. 
And if you need any more guidance, feel free to use your eraser to erase any unwanted lines. The great thing about using a pencil on acrylic is that you can erase your lines. I'm going to add a little line on the bottom of each little hoof or each little leg to signify the little hoof. And I'm just going to continue rounding everything out erasing any unwanted lines and there we have our little reindeer and now I think no I think we'll leave it like this for now and now let's sketch out our other reindeer now we're going to use the same techniques as with our first reindeer so we are going to um, be using shapes first to kind of lay out our little baby reindeer and then we are going to define the shape so let's have this reindeer kind of sitting down facing us so we're going to draw an oval for the head and now for the body we're going to draw a bigger oval coming all the way down and then let's draw the legs. So the legs are going to be one here and then sticking out because our little reindeer is going to be sitting down facing us. So we have two rectangles. So we have one and we have two and round out the bottom. And again, we're going to have one and two and round out the bottom and then we're going to have our little rectangles coming out the side here oh this one is going to intersect with our little uh, star which is going to be adorable and we're going to have another rectangle on this side and round it out we're going to add our little hoofs so we're going to cut across there I'm going to round out the edges here of the little baby's front paws or <laughs> hoofs <laughs> and we're going to round out the sides and now let us do the little face so we're going to do like a little v a little v down the front and then his little nose and now we're going to do little eyes we're going to have them looking down, so eyes a little bit closed. And now we're going to do the antlers the same way we did before. So first we're going to start off by drawing the lines of the antlers, and then we're going to round them out. So we're going to do another little antler. Oh, this is much better. And you can always fix it up with a little bit of white along the edges. And let's add a couple of like little strings of ornaments on our little antler head. Nothing fancy, just have it wrap around. And where they're like little, little teardrop shapes. We're going to add a few here and there. Let's add one over here. And we're going to add one over here. And there we go. There we have our second little reindeer baby. And now it's time to start painting. Okay, so for the painting, I'm going to use a little bit of holiday gold and a little bit of Christmas red. I did bring out a little palette. So to begin with, I am going to add just a tiny bit of the red. And I'm also going to add a little bit more of the gold. I'm also going to add some gold on this side in case I need some pure gold. And I am going to take my brush and this is the round brush that came in the advent box. And it's just a, it comes to a very nice fine point, which is what we want. 
and I'm going to mix these two together so we're going to our first little reindeer that we made our first little baby reindeer and I am going to use um, a little bit of this mixture I'm going to use it sparingly at first just kind of to see um, the color that it gives me and oh yeah that's really cute and I'm going to add it mostly on the top for now I'm also going to add a little bit of white to the palette so I'm going to add just a little bit here because I'm going to mix in some of that white to the bottom to make him a little fluff ball and I'm going to continue adding in some white as we move down to give it a bit of color but to make it kind of blend into his belly okay I'm going back to the gold mixture and we're going to blend all of that together so as it moves down its body it gets a little bit lighter I'm going to add a bit more on top because I faded that out quite a bit we're going back to our mixture and we are painting all the way down the body on this side down to its little hoof And the great thing about this brush is since it comes to a nice sharp edge, it'll give us really nice sharp corners. And we're going to blend the belly in. There we go. So here we have the beginning of our little reindeer. Okay, and now let us make sure to get the tail. I'm going to add a little bit more gold than anything on the tail. And the tail, we're gonna leave this part underneath it nice and white. And we are going to just add some color to the top of it there we go we're leaving the bottom nice and white and um, we're going to outline this at the end to define it just a little bit more okay now let's do the top of his head don't forget to do his little ears going to grab a little bit of red and it's going to be a little Rudolph cute little Rudolph and we're going to paint that in the Christmas red and if you have shaky hands like me you can anchor your pinky on the um, on the wood slice ornament so that it could give you a steadier hand so if you anchor yourself you know you'll see like if I do it like this my hands are pretty shaky but if I anchor myself that helps the shake now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of gold and mix those together just a tiny bit to differentiate it from the background and I am going to paint his little face in this color so it's not going to be completely different but it's going to help help set it apart from the background 
we're also going to use the same mixture. I'm going to add just a bit more gold for the antlers. So just a little bit more gold to make it stand out a bit more. And there we have the little antlers. Why don't we do that to the little tuft in the tail as well? And now we are going to let this one completely dry before we move on to outlining it. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use the same colors um, as we used for this little little guy over here. And we're going to use that those same colors over here. Now it is time to add a little detail and I think I'm going to take this gold acrylic marker called Gold Greetings that came with our um, advent calendar and I'm going to add a couple of details to it. I have another wood slice that I'm using as a tester and it looks, yeah, it looks pretty dark. So I really like that. So I'm going to use this oil or this, this marker um, to add a couple of details to our little guy here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around the antlers and I'm going to do this very carefully because if you press too hard you might uh, like catch it on the wood and um, we don't want that to happen. I think I'm also going to give him a little gold eyes and a little gold smile. Look at how adorable that is. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think that I will also just outline him completely in gold. Let's see how that looks. If we don't like the way it looks, we can always go over it, but I feel like he'll stand out nicely with a little bit of gold outlining. And there we have it. Let's add a couple of little bobbles. So I'm going to add a little a couple of little gold circles around to kind of tie this gold in with everything. So cute. And there we have our cute little deer. Look at this little baby. So cute. And now you can put the string on it and hang it up. Let's do the next one. And I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to outline it with the gold first. Oh, you know what we forgot to do with this one? We completely forgot his nose. How, how did I forget his nose? So let's go back and paint the little guy's nose. I'm going to turn it around so I can get the bottom part of his nose. 
And there we go. How could we have forgotten his nose? <laughs> All right, now I'm going to continue. I'm going to try to avoid that area. And we're going to use our other paint pens to color in the bulbs. Okay, so we're going to use our three colors here, and then we're going to outline them in gold to bring them all together. Now we're going to let that dry because you can see it's it's a little wet. So let that dry before we outline it. Now I'm going to take the gold and I'm just going to do, just like with the others, a cute little outline. And also, let's not forget to add our little bobbles little circles to uh, make it match with our other ornament. I'm also gonna make little ones. Yeah, I think the little ones will be really cute as well. Let's add little ones to this one. And there we have our adorable little, little baby reindeer. Look how cute these little babies are. And they are very metallic. We've used quite a bit of supplies from our advent calendar. So let's see, we used, obviously, we used our two wood slices. We used the gold, holiday gold Christmas red and snowman white. We also used our acrylic paint markers. So we used glitter gold, we used red ribbon, mistletoe green, and winter gray. So we used all of these to make, oh, and let's not forget that we used some of the, um, the glitter. So if you're ever wondering what to do with glitter, I mean, this is perfect. If you wanted to spray this down to uh, make it even more durable, you can use a clear acrylic sealer. This is the acrylic sealer that I use and it is Mod Podge Matte and it's a, crisp, a clear acrylic sealer. So you spray it on a couple of times and in a nice well ventilated area, I always spray it on when it's outside and it leaves your piece nice and matte. It's not shiny at all. I will put all of the information down below on where you can find that as well as all of these supplies. If you wanna get your own holiday calendar, I'll put that information down below. They also sell all of these supplies separately. So I always, every single year, I purchase a big box of wood slices because um, instead of doing um, name tags for gifts that I give during the holidays, I always put um, one of these ornaments instead and on the back I will put who it's to who it's from and the year as well so that they can have a nice little collection of ornaments on their tree so this is a you know a, a really pretty aesthetic way to give gifts put a little ornament on the front I hope that you enjoyed that tutorial and if you painted some wood slices of your own please be sure to tag me over on Instagram here is my handle and I will catch you in the next video bye